Hey everyone, uh, just a quick video today just to show you um, the first step in setting up your Google My Business listing um, obviously is to claim your listing. So um, one thing we get asked a lot is what the actual process is for claiming it. Um, there's a few different ways that we're going to show you how to do it. Um, number one, let's just jump right into it. Um, you can search, uh, go to Google and search for Google My Business, or if you actually know the uh, the URL, you can go directly to it. But if you search for Google My Business, this is what you're going to come up with. Um, interestingly enough, if you already have a Google My Business, I don't think the ads come up. Um, if you don't have one, the ads do actually come up. I'm not sure why. Um, but go down to the, the Google My Business uh, official page, um, and you'll see a couple site links here, options. Um, what you want to do if you're just getting started Number one is you, you want to make sure that you're actually signed into a Gmail account. If you're not signed into a Gmail account, it will actually make you, number one, um, sign into the, the Gmail or, or your Google account, I should say. Um, and then if you don't have a, a Google account, you'll essentially have to create one, I believe. So you can go right in here. Um, so step one, search for Google My Business. Come down here, um, add or claim your business. Um, and it will bring you to this nice page with, uh, the reason why I want to show you this is because it actually has the instructions on how to go through it. So even if you uh, don't feel like watching the video five times, you can you can come back here and kind of see what the steps are. But it's pretty easy. Um, we're just going to go to the Get Started bucket button. Um, and then from here, um, you can either uh, type your, your business name or you'll see when you start to type it in. So we're going to use Macaw, obviously. Um, McCall Digital Marketing um, is in here. So if your business comes up, you can actually select it. Um, if it doesn't come up, um, so say uh, SXY, just some random things that it will actually pop up. Um, there actually is one, oddly enough. So regardless, um, if your business does not come up, if it's not already on uh, Google Maps, you can essentially just click here and create a business and then you can go through the the process so put your business name in and put your business category name in um, we actually just released a uh, video on how to select the best uh, business category for your business or, or categories so make sure you watch that video as well um, but from here you can essentially just go through the process so business name business category and then you you'll go through the process to actually um, you know, create your listing and then you'll actually have to, you know, fill it in and um, uh, verify the, the, the business listing. And there's a couple different ways that you can verify it. Um, Google makes it pretty intuitive to walk through that process. Um, so this is the first step, but this will get you on the, the road to actually claiming your business or setting up your business um, if it doesn't already exist on Google Maps. So this is one way uh, just to run through it quickly again. Uh, you can use the Google My Business um, website directly. Uh, the other way to do it, um, and I'm going to use as an example a local coffee shop that's uh, downtown Cape Coral. Uh, great coffee shop. I love it. Um, just went there the other day, so just use it as an example because it's on the top of my head. A uh, company called Perkin Brew. So if this is you know, just as an example, but you can put your company in here and then search for it. Um, and then it will probably show up on the maps. Um, uh, so this company, they already have a listing. So obviously the, the knowledge panel is on the side. Um, so from here, if your business is already uh, showing up, you can essentially come down here um, under the address and the hours and the phone, etc. There's a, a suggest and edit um, that's typically for people that do not own the listing or the own, the own this business. And when you click on this, if your business is not claimed, it will actually bring you to a, um, it will bring you to a screen that we just saw, the one that you could essentially go in and, and fill in your information and go from there. Um, this one is already claimed. So this one, when you try to do it, um, obviously is gonna come up as uh, request access because someone already claimed the business. Um, but if you wanted to find, um, let's do an example of one that isn't claimed already. So if your business is not claimed, um, let's pick the first one. Uh, Angie is also down the road from us. Uh, you can essentially go to this 
Um, and I don't think that there's is claim. So you can see kind of what the process would be. Um, yes, manage this business through reply to reviews, update information and more. And then you would go to manage now and then it would go through the process of verifying that you actually own uh, the business. So you can do that. Um, or you can go directly to Google My Business, um, get started, and then put your business information in that way. Um, or the other one is if you want to just Google your business um, and on the Maps feature, just go in and um, click the Own This Business. Um, and then either um, you can go through the process of setting it up and verifying it. Or number two, um, if someone, say for instance, someone in the past from your company had already claimed it, um, a little bit trickier of a process, but you can request access. Um, if that person still works at your company, it will send an email to them um, requesting access for you. Um, if you know who that person is or if you ask around your office, uh, you can probably figure out who, who, um, who did claim it. Um, as the admin or the owner of the, the business listing. Um, and then you can obviously have them add you as a, a, an owner or editor, um, whatever functionality makes sense for your appropriate um, position within the, the, the company. So that, that's pretty much it. Those are the two ways that you can go in and um, claim your business listing um, through Google My Business Listings or Google Maps, whatever you want to call it. Um, and that is essentially the first step in order to get your business uh, claimed and listed. Um, and then from there, once it's listed and verified, you can go in and put all of your information, um, fill in uh, pretty much all the fields and add images and videos and everything else that, that goes from there. So I hope this was helpful. Um, make sure that you sign up for our email list. Um, essentially, you'll get notified of all of the the video series and the, the individual videos, videos and uh, blog posts that we're doing um, around you know Google My Business listing, search engine optimization, um, local search engine optimization, um, paid ads, email marketing, pretty much everything that you can think of um, specifically for smaller businesses um, to help you guys kind of you know get your foot in the door and, and get going with some digital marketing. Okay, it, hopefully we'll talk to you soon. Bye.